joining us now is Jamie Rojadinski. He's the founder of Wall Street Bets, and he founded it nine years ago, but did step away from it last year. He's also the author of Wall Street Bets, How Boomers Made the World's Biggest Casino for Millennials. Ha, Jamie, great to have you with us, aptly named in the book. And actually, you did predict, I think, some of what we're seeing here with these Redditors talking about buying these stocks that were heavily shorted. But did you ever imagine this could happen when you founded the platform? Uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I predicted the trajectory where things were going, but by no means did I predict, uh, predict the, the timing of the magnitude. This thing has happened so quickly, so fast. I think the, the uh, turning point was when I saw yesterday the White House was commenting on this story. I, I can't imagine that I ever envisioned this happening. You've been quoted as calling this a train wreck happening in real time. What do you mean by a train wreck? Uh, you know, there's a lot of forces at play that have just never been tested. You know, there's, a, there's a lot of people looking and commenting on this story, looking for precedent before, and there just isn't. There's, it's, it's too different. The dynamics. There's too many people. The technology. The, the uh, social component of it, and, and the regulation, which, quite frankly, I think was written at a time that wasn't able to predict this type of thing either. So we're, what we're going to see, or what we're seeing, is kind of this collision between. Uh, a system which is clearly not behaving the way it should be behaving, yet nobody's prepared to handle it on the regulatory side, the government side, or, or on the actual uh, forum itself. We just had um, a senior council member formerly at the SEC saying that there's enough regulations in place for everyone here to protect them. But I, I kind of agree with you. I do see a, a pretty seismic shift here. And it's a combination of social media platforms like Reddit that allow people to talk about what they're going to do and to debate these things and to collectively make a decision to do something combined with what we're calling the democratization of access to financial stocks through platforms that for the most part are free. The, it's created a sort of a perfect storm that's allowed the power of the people to take on hedge funds in the way that we've seen. That's correct. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of talk about how this resembles the 90s and how there was the, the dot-com bubble and how there were chat rooms at those days where people would discuss things in, uh, in a similar fashion. But this is, this is fundamentally different because... Uh, no longer are these people placing base, uh, bets on, on uh, you know, a sports game or a horse race. They're, they're placing bets on a market in a way that they're actually affecting the odds of the outcome. The, the, the numbers are so big, and the access, which is the key to your question, is the biggest part. Because this is so easy, free, readily available, uh, completely gamified on, on, on people's cell phones, they're able to instantly get, get in there, participate, and start using these, these sophisticated uh, leverage tools that they're able to to, to uh, exploit the asymmetry of money right a lot of people mm. little money but they're forcing the big guys to to, to uh you know they're forcing the hands of the big guys yeah it's kind of sexy making lots of money <laughs> and some people are making real amounts of money paying off school fees paying off mortgages it's sexy also when the headlines say a hedge fund has got caught on the wrong side of a trade and now needs bailing out for, for, for billions of dollars by friends in the industry. Jamie, but at some point the bubble will pop and people will lose money. Is this a real movement that will go on? Because we are seeing it in stocks beyond GameStop, or do you think when people start to really lose money, um, then they'll go, hang on a second, I didn't know what I was doing, and it all fizzles? L let me challenge you in, in your, the framing Please. of this question. This whole bubble popping is a boomer mentality, right? Uh, that, what is a bubble? Oh, thank mean? you. A bubble, you know, it's just this <laughs> idea that the, that the stocks are going to change direction. You know what's going to happen when this quote bubble pops? In other words, when the stock starts falling, these people are going to switch to buying puts, which is a you know a bet that the money that the price is going to go down, and they're going to make money on the way back down as well. The bubble to them is just, hey, what direction should we buy today? Should we buy up or down? And they're they're agnostic as to, the, to to what happens. There's no none of these people are buying the shares. They're buying stock options. Not all of them, Jamie. Come on. I agree with you that there are a lot of smart people that got in early and a lot of smart people will be buying options on this on the downside or on the upside, but not everybody. And some people will get really badly hurt. It's actually Look, not a game. Right. No, it's not. And, and it, but, but it is, if you want to call it a zero sum game, right? There, are, there is for every trade, there is a person that makes money and a person that loses money. Admittedly. That has been that's the rule since the inception of Wall Street. Guess what? Every time you see a transaction, there's somebody that made money and there's somebody that loses money, period. So, and some of know, this makes this investors 
um, some of this makes investors invest and some of this makes regulators really nervous. Sure. And you know what? I don't envy any of them. I don't envy the regulators. They have a really difficult time on their hands. Uh, SEC, FINRA, whoever else is getting into this. I don't envy the current moderators of Wall Street bets. I certainly wouldn't want to be caught uh, uh, actually involved in any of these trades. Uh, I don't envy Reddit. Uh, they're in a really sticky situation. It, you know, it's. It, I'm enjoying this from the sidelines. It's extremely interesting. and I definitely think it's going to lead to some change. Do you think financial markets are forever altered by what we're seeing because after the financial crisis we saw the participation of models and algorithms and this belief that it's emotions and people making decisions is quite frankly not true there's a lot of pressures and flows in this market that aren't ruled by human emotion they're ruled by triggers and by directional change do you see the participation of retail investors and the democratization of finance as a a fundamental change in financial markets that perhaps we've not reckoned with before now you know, that's a great question. I do. I do believe it. But that change has been perpetual ever since the beginning of the stock market. You talk about all these different players that are involved. I, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, when when we had a volatility issue in February of 2018, stock markets did some really crazy things. It's extremely technical and is really fascinating for those that are interested. Uh, but that was a result of a lot of different players getting their hands into this really complicated system, and it crashed the stocks like 5% that day. What we're seeing now is... is uh, the acceleration of that what you know that every time something like this happens they make adjustments they, they correct it even the dot com sorry also in the, the the financial crisis but the speed at which this thing is growing is what's making it really hard to keep up with I definitely yeah. think that there's going to be changes uh, towards the longer term and I think that the, the 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 force with which this is happening is slapping everyone in the face and and, and, and forcing them to do something about it now yeah, it's one definite uh, wake-up call, I can tell you. I have about 20 seconds, Jamie. Are you confident this isn't pump and dump, 2021 style? You know, that is such a, that is a loaded question. Pump and dump has very, very specific uh, uh, definition to it's it. It's and, and people need, and it's illegal, of course it is. And so is manipulation and fraud and all sorts of different things like that. In order to pump and dump, you actually have to dump your stocks on an unwitting uh, investor, as I said, the majority, 38 million options were traded yesterday, never in the history of the market. These guys aren't dumping stocks, they're dumping options. Yes, that's exactly, you just buy, buy that put. Jamie, great to have you with us. We'll chat again soon. Thank you.